Hello and welcome to Cards by Kendra. I'm so glad you're here. Today I'm sharing the first eight cards of a set of 15 that I created using the cutting templates and card sketches from Kendra's Card Challenge 5 and some new products from Queen & Company. I recently purchased some goodies and so first I'm showing you what I got in my package. There's some shaker bits here which I don't end up using in this video but I love making shaker cards so I'm glad to have these for future cards. There's these heart embellishments that I do use for some of these cards and there's red and pink and white and they're um, glossy on one side and flat on the other and then there are um, th this is what I'm basically fo focusing my projects on today this is the love sentiment stacker set and this comes with two six by six paper pads and I'll just flip through this first one here that has all of the patterns on it. As you can see, maybe you can't really see because it's really light. So the colors in this are like a light pink, a light purple, a light gray, kind of a darker gray. And then there's some black and white in here too. But it's got some really great patterns and there's, um, I think three each three of each design maybe it, it might be four of each design it's a total of 24 so um i know that it's kind of hard to see some of the patterns on here but there's also this second paper pad that has the matching colored card stock of all the different shades of pink purple grays and black and i'll be using this paper pad for the mats and layers that I need for the card challenge for the sketches some of the sketches call for mats and then there is the stamp set here and I know this is hard to see I think I put a, a white thing behind it here in just a second but um, this goes these stamps go with the word dies that say love heart and couple and the word dies have the shadow piece so you can make you'll see you'll see all these sentiments here shortly and then lastly here's the love foundation dies now there's a ton of different heart shaped dies on this in the set in a bunch of different sizes and this is the main reason i bought <laughs> i bought so much from queen and company because i wanted this die set um but there's this these long border dies here that's got two different size or yeah two different size hearts and then this rectangle piece here they have like um, attached hearts in between so you can use that to make a shaker card which i will show you here at the end of this video but real quick if you are not a subscriber i hope you'll go ahead and click on that subscribe button now if you're not familiar with my quarterly card challenges it's where you can create 15 cards with just six sheets of six by six pattern paper and of course other card stock and supplies and you'll use the cutting templates and card sketches that I provide for free in a PDF download on my website at cardsbykindred.com. So basically it's like a one sheet wonder times six. And what's great about this challenge is that it's quarterly. So you have plenty of time to work on the cards. Now, if you'd like more information about the challenge, I will link a video where I introduced it above and also in the description box. Now here are the patterns that I selected to use for each of the six cutting templates. I'll show you both sides. Now I like to use double sided papers for these challenges because I have choices. Um, in my introduction video for challenge five, I show how to cut the papers using these cutting guides. And the papers are color coded and numbered so it's easy to see what pieces go with each sketch. So for papers A and B, I'm using the black and white patterns. And it's best to use non-directional paper so you don't have to worry if the pattern will be facing a certain way when you put these together. But for paper C, um, one side has the heart pattern on it and the other side is non-directional. So it, as long as one side is non-directional, you'll be good. But you do want to pay attention. If you decide that you want to use a directional pattern, make sure you look at the orientation on the cutting guide so you'll make sure that it's facing the right way when you go to put your card together. Once you assign your papers, you'll want to find all of your matching card stock that you'll use for the mats or layers. These are all of the card sketches here. 
but you'll want to cut the six sheets of paper using the cutting templates and then sort them by sketch number. I like to sort them using some numbered cellophane bags so I can see what I'm working with. And then you can cut up your mats and layers based on what the card sketch says. Now for these cards, I use the solid colored card stock paper pad like I mentioned earlier to cut all of my mats. And um, then the next step is you'll just need to decide how you want to decorate your cards. So I went ahead and did all of the cutting and everything off camera. And so now I'm going to share the process with you for card sketches one through eight. So I'm displaying the card sketch number in the top left hand corner so that you can see it. And you'll see for a lot of the cards, I use the layered pieces to cut out smaller die cuts from those solid colored papers. In addition to what I showed you at the beginning of this video, of the supplies that I got from Queen and Company. I also used a few sheets of heavyweight cardstock in black, white, and pink, and also some Love from Lizzie peel off stickers and some rhinestone hearts that I had in my stash to embellish some of the cards. Now, if you'd like to join in the fun, Challenge 5 runs from January 1st to March 31st of 2022. So you still have plenty of time to make your cards, but a new one will be shared on April 1st. And so to enter, all you need to do is post pictures of your cards on either Facebook or Instagram and use the hashtag Kendra's Card Challenge 5 so that I can find your photos. You'll have a chance to win one of eight amazing prizes. A full list of those prizes that you can win are listed on my website, cardsbykendra.com. And I will link this in the description box below, along with a full supply list of what I use to make these cards today. Now, some of the links are affiliate links, which means that when you make a purchase, I make a small commission. And this is at no extra cost to you, but it does help to support my channel to, to help to keep these challenges free. Now, if you're on Instagram, follow me at Cards by Kendra. And if you share your photos there, please make sure that your account is set to public so that I can find your photos. The quarterly contest is open to card makers worldwide and you don't have to use any particular company's products to enter this challenge. You can use what you have in your stash. And that's the whole point of this is to use up your pattern paper stash. If you're anything like me, you probably have a lot. I am a paper addict. Um, but I, I decided that I wanted to come up with a creative way to use these pattern papers. And so that's how this whole challenge thing came to be last January. So you can enter up to three times per quarter. Now, if you're on Facebook, be sure to join my Facebook group called Kendra's Card Challenges. And this way you can post your entries there and see what others have created with the sketches. Plus, you can ask questions and find links to other videos with tips and tricks and also see other card making inspiration. Now, if you have a YouTube channel and you post a video of your creations there, you'll get an extra entry into the contest. You'll just want to make sure you use the hashtag Kendra's Car Challenge 5. Now, I know it takes a lot of work to create and edit YouTube videos, so I thought I'd give an extra chance to win something for all of the extra efforts for anybody that decides to post a video on YouTube. In one of my recent videos that I posted where I made 15 cards using a kit, I mentioned a, a lot of tips and tricks that will help you with this challenge. So if you're new to this, I will link that video above here and also in the description box. But I had so much information to share in that video. I started telling a little bit about my personal life, but there was just so much information about the challenge that I kind of ran out of time. So I figured I would continue on with what I had planned to share with you guys since I don't really share a lot of personal information in my videos. So while I'm making these cards, I'll go ahead and tell you, if you didn't get to watch the last video, I am a high school business teacher. I've been a teacher for seven years. And before that, I had an online craft business. It wasn't a paper crafting business like you would think, but I made fragrance products like aroma beads and fragrance oils. And I did that for about 10 years while my kids were little until I decided to go back to college. Now, I sold my business back in 2015 and the new owners are still making people's homes smell good. But when I started that business um, back in 2005, that was the year my youngest son was born. And so I wasn't working and my mom was a demonstrator for a stamp company and she turned me on to card making, even though I didn't really have a whole lot of time to do it. 
but I, re I originally tried to make scented cards using the aroma beads, but I found that it was just too time consuming to do both. So I focused on making just the aroma beads and I first sold them in sachets and then later in bulk, it kind of grew into a company where I eventually had a warehouse with several employees. So it started out in my garage as a way to make some extra money, eventually turned into a full-time business. I even had a storefront at one point. I had a little gift shop and I had a pack and ship store. So I would ship UPS and FedEx and because I was shipping things out all the time anyway. So when I had the gift shop, one of the things that I really missed from before was having the flexibility of being able to work when I wanted rather than having set hours every weekday and every Saturday like I had with the gift shop. So after a couple of years, I decided to close the storefront and I went back to selling online only. And then shortly after was when I decided to go back to school to finish my bachelor's degree in business management. And then I sold my business and I became a teacher all about the same time. And then about a year after teaching, I decided to go back to get my master's degree and I got that in learning and technology. And that's really whenever I be began making cards like on a regular basis. And so that's when Cards by Kendra started. And so it's card making has basically been my way of de-stressing after a long day of work. And it's my creative outlet. And I started my YouTube channel back in February of 2019. And that's when I posted my first video, but it took me a whole year to post another video right about the same time that COVID happened. So I've been trying to be consistent with posting videos ever since. I joined a couple of crafty Facebook groups that have really helped me to grow my channel. And by participating in hops, I've been able to learn some new techniques from lots of other crafters. And I've also found some great channels to follow and I've made some awesome friends. I just love our little crafting community. Everyone is always so encouraging and helpful. And I really enjoy making tutorial videos. I like trying new techniques using different types of products, including things like mixed media. So I do have a variety of different card making tutorial videos here on my channel. I love fun folds and interactive cards. So you'll find some videos on those types of cards too, but I probably have more videos on how to use pattern paper with card making because that's what I used when I first learned how to make cards. And I really enjoy trying to use up a whole pad of paper. And I like making a bunch of cards at, at once. So for this last card here, I'm making a shaker card. And you'll see that I'm right now I'm adding some thin foam strips to the back. But I'm using this awesome confetti mix called Love You Very Much. And this is from this call's for confetti this is a new company and it's also one of our prize sponsors for kendra's card challenge 5. they have beautiful confetti and sequin blends to use for shaker cards and also to embellish your cards now i will put a link to each of the sponsors stores in the description box below but i'd love for you to check them out and see what all they have to offer this adorable confetti mix has a bunch of different things in it and um I'm pulling out the red because it doesn't really go with this, the colors here on this card. And I'm also pulling out those cute little bare clay pieces, mainly because the front of the shaker window has all of the hearts on it. So you wouldn't really be able to see them very well. So I'll save those for another shaker card where the window isn't covered up so much. And so this finishes off card number eight. So here are the first eight cards that I made. I will share the last seven cards of the set of 15 that I made in my next video. I really like how they turned out. Let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite. If you enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you'd give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Have a wonderful day.